Hello, you're welcome to the last section of this project. So in this video, I'll be showing you how we can create our ECS tax definition, our ECS service and cluster. Okay, so the first thing I need to do right now is to go and locate ECS service. So in the search bar here, I'll type ECS and I'll click on Elastic Container Service. Alright, so this is the service and I believe you must have, you know, become familiar with Elastic Container Service, okay? But in case you don't really know it, okay, so Elastic Container Service is actually a Docker Container Service that handles the orchestration and provisioning of Docker Container, okay? So it's a highly scalable and fast container management service that makes it easy to run, stop and manage containers on a cluster so the first thing i need to do here um just at the left navigation pane i'll click on tax definition so the first thing we'll be creating is a tax definition what is a tax definition it is actually a blueprint that describes how a docker container should launch so i'll click on create new tax definition And I'll click on create new tax definition down here. All right. So here on the tax definition family, I'll go ahead and give this tax definition a name. I'll name it ECR tax definition all right so scrolling down over here so we need to give our container detail so i can just name it whatever i want ecs container one all right so this image uri is actually the uri of our ecr repository so i'll go over to my ecr repository um gonna type it here ECR elastic container registry and this is my repository all I need to do is to click on this to copy the URI and I'll go back I'll paste it here and that is it if I scroll down the port mapping is fine port 80 and the protocol TCP port name everything is fine here I'll scroll down I'll leave others as default and I'll click next the app environment we'll be using is AWS Fargate okay so this will you know this is just to specify the infrastructure for the tax definition all right the operating system Linux this is fine I'll leave it this way the CPU memory I'm just gonna leave this the way it is as default on the tax row we'll leave it we don't really need this tax row and on the tax execution row we actually need a tax execution row so i'm gonna show you how we can create a tax definition row okay. and i'll click on i am okay so here i will just click on the rows okay we'll go ahead and create a new row i'll click on create row if i scroll down the trusted entity type is fine if i scroll down so here i'll be clicking on this um down arrow to select um so i'm gonna type ecs is not okay i'll type container elastic container service okay i'll select it all right 
So scrolling down, I will see Elastic Container Service Task. This is what we need. I'll just select it, okay? And I'll click Next. If I scroll up, so the permission we'll be giving to this is um, Amazon ECS Tax Execution Row Policy. So I'll type Amazon ECS Task, press Enter. Awesome, this is it here. I will just select it and click Next. Please ensure you're selecting the right in Amazon ECS Tax Execution Row Policy. All right, select Next. And here, I will give name to this row. Execution. Tax execution row. Okay, so this is fine, and I will click on create row. Awesome. So this row has been created. I will go back to continue with my tax definition creation. So here I will need to actually select the row. So this is it here. It is showing already. All right. So if I scroll down. All this thing, I will leave them as defaults. Let me see the okay. Okay, I'll click on next and here is to review and create. Everything is fine. I'll go ahead and click on create. Alright, so as you can see, my tax definition has been created. So the next thing we'll be creating right now is ECS cluster. What is ECS cluster? This is it over here. If I click on it. So ECS cluster is nothing but a logical grouping of tax or services. So your tasks and services are run on infrastructure that are registered to a cluster. If you feel like you need to know more, if in case you don't know about ECS services, tax definitions and cluster, you can actually read more about it. So all I need to do now is to click on create cluster. And I will give cluster name, I will type ECS cluster. All right, scrolling down. All right, I will scroll down. The under networking, the VPC is default. We are using a default VPC and that is fine. And under subnet, I would like to use three availability zone. So I'm gonna remove this one. US is one F, US is one D. So I'll be making use of US is 1A, B and C. All right. I'll leave these ones as default. There's really nothing much I need to do here. So that is it. I'll just click on create. This monitoring is actually optional. So you can use container inside. Using container inside, CloudWatch automatically collect metrics for many resources such as CPU, memory, disk, and network. So Container Insight will help to provide diagnostic information such as your container restart failures and to help you to isolate issues and resolve them quickly but won't be making use of it in this project. So I will just click on Create. This can take maybe a minute or two. So I'm going to wait for it to finish creating. Awesome. It has actually created successfully. So the next thing we'll be creating is a service in ECS. If I click on this cluster to open. 
and then scroll down I'll see service here alright so a service allow you to run and maintain a specified number of instances of a tax definition concurrently in an Amazon ECS cluster so I'll just go ahead and click on create service and I'll scroll down under compute option capacity provider strategy is fine if I scroll down the capacity provider is Fargate so this is fine the platform uh, version is latest this ensure yours is latest okay so I'll just leave this and scroll down deployment configuration is fine application type is service alright scroll down so under family we actually need to select the task definition we've created so I'll select this and uh, automatically it selected the latest the revision one okay so I'll need to give my service a name this is service okay ECS service is fine and if I scroll down the desired task I'll be using is two all right deployment option um, so under deployment option I'll leave this minimum running tax to be we don't actually need to touch here all right but if you have like a configuration you're working with then you should be able to specify your minimum running task and the maximum so since we are using two as our desired task we'll be having two tasks after we create this all right so I'll scroll down and I'll expand this networking so scroll down I'll select I'll choose three subnets so okay I'm left with US is 1A US, US is 1B and US is 1C all right if I scroll down I'll be creating a new security group here so I'll select on create new security group I will name it ECS or oh, my ECS sorry ECS SG and I'll use the same name as the description the inbound rule should be HTTP and the source should be anywhere all right and then I'll expand this load balancer the load balancing and under load balancer type I'll choose application load balancer so we've created our application load balancer already so this time to select the load balancer so I'll choose this choose uh, the existing load balancer and over here I'll select the project ALB we created all right and here it will ask you to choose container to load balance so this is the container we created okay remember this container was specified when we created our tax definition that was when I named it ECS container all right so this listener is good here on port 80 and that is fine so if I scroll down I'll actually create a new target group for this service so I'll name it TG uh, service target group and that is fine so um, this is good the way it is we won't be using auto scaling option for the purpose of this project so I'll click on create Okay, it took me back to port and it said listener port already exists. Please specify a unique. Okay, it already exists. So I'll use use an existing listener and I'll select 80. Okay, so that is fine. And under evaluation order, I'll just give it one and that will be fine. And um, okay part pattern just give it asterisk and that is fine so if I scroll down I should be able to create my 
service now. So this will start creating. I'm just going to give it a while. I'll pause this video and I'll come back once it is created. After waiting for about two minutes or thereabout, I could see that my service has been created successfully. So let me go back to clusters to verify and I'll click on this cluster. So if I scroll down, I can see my service. My service is active and on that task, I should be able to see two tasks running. Remember when I chose two desired task okay so these are the two tasks that are running and here you can actually explore read about the infrastructure you use we make we are making use of fagates and you can see the metrics here and all that so feel free to explore the information if I go back to my tax definition and click on this tax definition we have the revision one running here. I can open it. And then this is the information and all. Um, I want to show you something in the service section. If I click on this service, and then under logs, I actually, you should be able to see log. We don't have log here, but you can actually view it in CloudWatch. You can view your configuration and task. And then the deployment and event. So under deployment and event, you should be able to see your deployment and events that took place over here. All right. Under networking, we should be able to see the information about you know information concerning networking and this is load balancer here and if i copy this dns name which is actually the dns of the dns name for our load balancer we should be able to you know access our application because yeah our application has actually been deployed so let's validate what we've done and see if we can access our application so having copied this dns name i will go over to the browser i'll press enter awesome as you can see our application is up and running but we've successfully containerized our application and ecs is helping us to manage our docker container our application is running inside a container and we've pointed a load balancer and because we have two tags running a load, this load balancer can help us to balance the traffic between these two tasks in our service okay so with that we have high availability in case if something happens in one availability zone, it can actually fail over to another. So yeah, this is a good configuration and you should be able to discuss this in your interview. Feel free to, you know, have this project in your resume, have it in your GitHub. And this is a boost to your profile actually. And thank you so much for staying true in this project. I'm going to show you something in case you have issue, uh, in case you are not able to view your application. So let me take you back to ECS. Under your cluster, let me click on cluster here. Select my cluster. If I scroll down to service, click on service. You can see I have two targets. They are actually healthy. So I can go ahead and click on these two targets I have here. I need to open in another tab. All right, if I scroll down, you can see my two targets are actually healthy. So in case yours is not healthy, that means something is wrong somewhere. You need to check and see what you are not doing right, okay? So if you have any confusion or question, kindly feel free to drop it in the comment section and I'll be there to answer your question. Please like this video, kindly share this video with your friends and you know with your network help me subscribe and click on that notification bell so you get notification each time i publish a new video thank you so much for your time today i will see you in my next video bye